Alrighty, so in this video, we'll cover step two of developing the cart service. So let me move in here and let's open up a new terminal window. And now let's make use of this command ng generate service, services slash cart. And that'll create the appropriate files for us. Let me just close off that terminal window real quick. And then under services, there's our new cart service that was just created. And I'll expand the window here for a second and I'll get down and dirty and start writing some code. So the first thing we'll start off with is defining a property here for our shopping cart. So it's really just an array of cart item objects. And then I make use of the square brackets to make the array empty initially. I take care of the little imports there. All right, so that's our shopping cart, array of cart item objects. I'll create this total price subject number. And now remember here, subject is a subclass of observable. We can use the subject to publish events in our code and the event will be sent to all subscribers. All right, so the cart service, this total price subject, it'll, it'll actually publish events to the subscribers. And I'll show you the coding for it in a second as far as how to actually publish the event. So we'll have a subject for total price. We'll also have a subject for total quantity. So I'll kind of do a copy paste here. And so I'll have total quantity right here. Okay, so moving down here, let's go ahead and create this method add to cart. They'll pass in the cart item. And what I'll do is I'll write some quick little comments to myself to kind of keep myself on track. So we'll need to check if we already have the item in our cart. Then we need to find the item in the cart based on the item ID. And then check to see if we actually found that given item. All right, so that's the basic game plan. Let's go ahead and dive in here and let's start writing the code. So I just set up two variables here for already existing cart, boolean, initialize it to false, existing cart item is a cart item and initially set it to undefined. So if the cart items dot length is greater than zero, then let's go ahead and do some work. So this work here, we'll do a little cut paste, move those comments inside because this will all be inside of this little if block. So I need to find the item in the cart based on ID. There are a number of ways to do this, but I'll keep it simple just for now. And I'll simply loop through each one of the cart items and compare item IDs. So if the temp cart item, the guy that we're looping through right now, if the ID is equal to the cart item that's being passed in as a parameter dot ID, then that means we've found it and we simply assign existing cart item equal to that temp cart item and then we break out of the loop. So then we just check to see if we found it. So we assign this boolean already exist in cart is equal to existing cart item is not equal to undefined. So it'll have a value of true or false depending on if we found it or not. 
And that's the basic, basic coding here for this add to cart. All right, and let's add some more code here to this method. So if already exists in cart, then let's simply increment the quantity of that item. So we say existing cart item dot quantity plus plus. Else we just add the item to the array. So this dot cart items dot push the cart item. And then the final thing we'll do in this method is that we'll compute the cart total price and total quantity. And I'll have a helper method to help us out with this. So I'll call this dot compute cart totals. And then we simply use the IDE to declare this method for us.